Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! We are half done with the dream then. Already! I can't believe it. I was expecting to have a lot more trouble here, but... Well, I shouldn't say that, because this this could destroy me. Well, maybe not. I mean, it's just a bunch of dweevils for the most part that can kill Pikmin. And uh, purples will demolish them like no one's business. <laughs> Uh, reds for the fire geysers, of course. They will take care of that without any issue. And match the colors, I suppose. If you don't want to take care of uh, uh, the devils with stuff. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> one of them managed to home in on it. Alright, now let's take out one hit kill stuff. Like electricity. Good. Because that would suck if Pikmin ended up going through that. <laughs> Munge Dweevil must, most certainly has got to go. Yeah! I've also got to figure out where the heck the treasure is on this floor. I mean, it probably is inside that uh, um, uh, antenna beetle. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name there for a sec for some reason. Uh, the reason why I think it's in there is because it's the only unique enemy on the floor. So, yeah. Alright, let's... Tackle. Oh, no, 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 Actually, that, this is working. Somehow. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Coming up. Maybe plop a couple yellows on here just in case so they don't, like, start. I mean, they don't get flung over there to the electricity because that would, that would really blow. Blow worse in a circuit. Ah, uh, poopers. <laughs> yeah, and it does it makes Pikmin come to it instead of you, and it just messes with your squad. You can blow him back once it jumps out of the way. <laughs> once it jumps out of the way, but you know it's just the whole thing of it being annoying. But that was not where the treasure was, so it's, it's somewhere around here still. Yeah, I should probably throw Pikmin at it from underneath. Uh, actually, I could do this. First, take out the fire geyser and then uh, tackle it with purples. Yeah, purple solve everything. <laughs> And how did you get down here, my zappy friend? Oh, uh, should I do this with purples? It worked! <laughs> okay. Looks like this is pretty well cleared out, but the where it... Oh, it's a pumpkin. So that's where the treasure is, and that's the only treasure of the floor? Probably. Well, let's plop some whites on here. Gotta take care of that with whites, no other way to do it. And, of course, the Dweevils are there to, um, mess with your carrying. <laughs> because, you know, the, the Dweevils, when you're carrying something back, they'll pick up whatever you're carrying just to mess with you. There we go. I'm trying to sort of kind of predict where they're going to take it through uh, by clearing out the stuff and stuff and stuff. Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Don't zap my whites. You're probably going to zap my whites just because. <laughs> yeah, okay, you didn't zap my whites. I appreciate that. So I will give you the gift of death. <laughs> Alright. Um, looks like there's not really much to go here to reach the pumpkin. And we shall smash it. Like the band. Oh, forget it. I don't even know where I'm going with that. I'm just being silly here. This is room this this one's kinda tedious. <laughs> Sorta of kinda tedious. I mean it's not there's not really all that much danger here, it's just a matter of uh, picking your battles, I guess you could say. Yeah, it's just choosing where which Pikmin to use on other stuff wisely. Alright, whites. Go on the poison pipe. Wait, someone's someone's suffocating. Who who did I throw in there that's suffocating? What? I... I don't know. <laughs> I thought I had all whites there, but apparently some other color got in there. Okay, blues... I win. Now, which way are they going to take it? Which way are they going to take it? Please don't take it to this side. Okay, good. I figured you wouldn't take it this way. It just seemed too tedious to take it around that way, based off of the floor's layout, because you you only have to go through down uh, two slopes that way, while the other way is uh, like three slopes or so. 
Mm, maybe I'll meet up with them down here, because those purples are still straggling out in the corner here. Mm -hmm. Just throw a couple more on there, I guess. Mm, maybe I'll dismiss my squad. Oh, there's another treasure there. Oh, and I see a Dweevil's already got it. Okay, so I won't be able to just, like, run back over to the exit. So there's still a little bit more to do here. Yeah, this floor is pretty tedious. <laughs> Let's uh, get some reds on... Oh, they made it! Yeah! Get some reds on the geyser once this is over with. Jack-o'-lantern is called... Possessed Squash! Alright, I want... Reds. Right there. Oh, no, 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 no yellows. No yellows. Just the reds. Oh, oh. I know you can get up that slope, I can tell. <laughs> okay, that's good enough, I guess. It'll be fine. Alright, so I'm kind of glad that I took care of this one instant kill uh, electric trap here. Well, wires, whatever you want to call them. Alright, now. Whites. There we go. And then I'll be able to wipe out that Dweevil with relative ease, since it's not going to uh, mass kill Pikmin instantly. Yeah! Alright, now yellow's on this. Hopefully they don't take it this way. I'm thinking they're going to take it this way, knowing them. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, okay. <laughs> I was getting ready to call him back there for a sec. Okay, this should be good then. Oh, 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 oh don't get poisoned. Yeah, I think it's going to be good, because that other Dweevil's happily got that critter on its back, so it's not like it's going to attack anything that's not attacking it. <laughs> it's just kind of kind of hanging out in this corner here. It's, it's having a good time. Maybe it's building a nest over there. <laughs> I'll just, just leave it be. It seems content with its current situation there. And, uh, yeah, look, that looks, looks like we're good. Oh, those two have been trying to carry that thing the whole time, really. I kind of feel sorry for them, because they've been straining. Straining their poor little arms. Alright, what is this wobbly thing? What could it possibly be called? Extreme Perspirator. <laughs> the names just keep getting better. Oh, looks like this floor is now officially complete. And let's go to the next floor. So far, no major bosses of doom, but I shouldn't say that probably, because <laughs> we're probably going to be demolished by one. Hmm. Safe floor or floor of death? We shall see. Uh, oh, sounds like we got happy music, so I bet we are in a safe floor. No treasure to collect. There's probably some unmarked spectralids in these. Maybe? Uh... What? What's... Oh, I see. <laughs> so you're the bonus of this floor, I see. <laughs> and by bonus, I mean not... Not something you want to smell as a bonus. <laughs> we got a purple spray, very nice. There's probably others on this floor then. Oh, it's gone. Because usually when there's one, it seems like there's more than that somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, delicious. Should I look for more doodle bugs or should I... I found the doodle bug. I think it's the same one though, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was gonna say, should I just look... Should I just move to the next floor or look for more doodle bugs? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> oh no, oh no, no! Such gas! No! Gas is too powerful for most living beings. Uh, let's see if I can swoop them through here. But I, I did I actually manage to do the glitch, and I wasn't purposefully trying to do the glitch. I think I did. <laughs> I am pleased by this outcome. Then, <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna move on here. Let's. Groove on with another floor. Because I, I don't think there's going to be anything else other than doodle bugs, as far as I can tell. And they, they're they kind of a risk-reward thing, because, you know, they carry a, a ton of droplets of nectar and um, sprays. But, ooh, swamp floor! 
And but the thing about them is they can also mass kill Pikmin if you're not careful. Alright, so swamp floor means blue floor. Is everyone okay over there? Is everyone gonna be fine? Maybe. I just never trust Oh, Gatling Groink. Better distract it over here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, come over here. Just go somewhere that's not by other enemies. Because you are a pain in combination with stuff. Okay, that's good. Very good. Okay, now I'm gonna burp. And I'm going to wipe you out. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. Got a spray for that too. Yeah, I'll pick it up now. I won't bother bringing the captain here, just save some time. I know I'm getting a little impatient here, but that's just how things go with me sometimes. Um, jelly float? I guess I should take you before you annoy me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all, everything else seems to be pretty pretty easy overall. Except maybe the uh, um, Wally Wogs. You're going to try and spew fire at them, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Knock it out. Knock it out. I know you have a lot of HP, but still, there's plenty to knock out. And don't digest the Pikmin before I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah. It takes a very long time for them to digest Pikmin, in case you didn't realize that. So I wasn't too worried about that. Alright, let's distract it. And now we throw... Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't mean to attract you. Those water dumples, though, might be an issue, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh, sneak through here. Hey, wait, is this another dump? Yeah, it's another deep hole. Does this swamp have the same layout as the other layouts? It seems like the dream, then, has a lot of similar layouts to other places, but yet aren't exactly the same. It's, it's like it has stuff from all sorts of other places, and... Uh... Oh... <laughs> that Wallywog has got to go. Yee. There you go. And now, strategy go. Ooh, that was close. Dang combination of enemies. You are. Oh. Yep. Okay, we're safe. We're good. We're okay. Still somehow. <laughs> And oh no, oh no, no, no! Oh! oh god, okay, I got one. I can accept that. <laughs> Just as long as you have that whistle on them as they're getting flamed on, you will be okay. And oh, you've got the treasure, don't you? You have the treasure. Oh, yes, you do. It's kind of weird that you can't see the treasure inside it, because it's... it's translucent. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't question the game logic, or the universe will most certainly implode. Wow, a deck of Hanafuda cards. This is probably a reference to um, Nintendo's tra uh, playing card heritage, because they uh, made playing cards before they made video games, and they still make playing cards too, by the way. Um, as a little tribute to uh, their past, they actually made um, some Hanafuda cards with Nintendo characters on them. Uh, more specifically, Mario characters on them. And, uh, whoa, 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 you're not... You trickster. Oh! I didn't think you would do that. But, yeah, anyway, they made uh, cards with Hanafuda characters, uh, you know, Mario characters on them. And uh, they're pretty cool. I got them from Club Nintendo for 800 points. I think they were... And, uh, they're, they're ex they seem like they're extremely high quality. Uh, anyway, enough talking about Hanafuda cards, we're playing Pikmin. <laughs> Hanafuda cards are pretty neat. Kind of a tricky game to learn, though. <laughs> yeah! Well, there's actually a couple games that you can play with uh, Hanafuda cards. So it's not just one game. They're, you know, Hanafuda cards are Japanese playing cards, so you can play a whole bunch of stuff. Just like you can play uh, a bunch of stuff with regular trading cards. Uh, trading cards, no, regular cards. Oh shoot, 
Okay, I saved all the Pikmin, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, you're stuck in the... You're stuck in the hole and you're blowing against the wall, aren't you? Yeah, you are! Look at that! I most certainly can use that to my advantage. To an extent. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, I think it's clear to take... No, wait, no, it's not clear to take stuff back. Because there's still the dumples on that side. Ah, I don't have very many blues to deal with them. Let's try and do the divide and conquer, attract the one at a time strategy. Or I could attack it with, uh, um, or get him on land and attack it with purples. Come on. Just want to get the one right in front here. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, you're not, you're not leaving. You're not leaving here alive. <laughs> All right. Three more to go. Well, actually, kind of four more to go, because I might, I might want to take on that one on land. Uh, oh, no, 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 you're not eating. Nope. You're gonna go to, you're gonna go to sleep hungry here. <laughs> oh! I did not see you coming. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Oh, help! Attack it, attack it! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> this is a mean floor, I have to say. Alright, one more to go. Just throw Pikmin on top of it. And it should do just fine. There we go. Now for the Fiery Blowhog, this should be it. Unless it takes a lot of Pikmin to take the Hanafuda cards back, of which I'm going to have to do a free start. <laughs> like, just so I don't have to go back in this dungeon later. There we go. Okay, 15 blues. Is there anything to trade colors here? I didn't see anything to trade colors here. Hmm. Well, um, if it takes 25 blues, I wouldn't have had a chance to take this back anyway. Uh, but I doubt it's going to take that many. Uh, 15. Very, very nice. <laughs> now, I absolutely, positively have to make sure that these guys right here make it back. Otherwise, well, it's absolute positive restarts. You're going to take it up here, right? You're going to take it through here? You can take it up here, right? Okay, so I didn't have to deal with the enemies on that side. Well, let's... Oh, don't go in the water, guys. Okay, that's good. They usually um, are only attracted to the item, and then they come back to the captains once they realize they can't go on there. So that, that they tend to avoid water that way if you keep the captain in front of the opening. Talisman of Life. Alright, floor complete. Whew. That was a doozy. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.